I am I am the brain. I am the brain. <laughs> right, so the best the best film. The best film out of his catalogue of fucking films, the brain films. It's fateful findings. I mean I was got it. It's got to be. It's four point six, but it's got to be. Yeah. I mean, look in in the in the Wikipedia thing. I just thinking up. It said it was compared to the Room because it's that good yeah. of a film. I mean, the Room is an absolutely fucking masterpiece. So watch the room. to be fair, if this is what it's being compared to, fucking hell, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In this very famous film, we have uh, Neil Breen, <laughs> who, pal who plays as Dylan. He plays himself. Yeah, we got uh, Clara Landrette. As uh, Emily, his his like wife. What? Which one? The one that is, uh, uh, the, pill addict, the one who's a fucking drug addict. <laughs> addict, addict yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got uh, Jennifer Al Altry, yeah. who's Leah, who's like the main sort of like his secret crush sort of woman thing. Yeah. David Silver as Jim, your boy Jim. Uh, I'm only going through the uh, characters that actually matter somehow in this film. Uh, Victoria Veveros, or whatever the fuck. As Amy, that's Jim's wife. If you didn't know, okay. uh, you got Doctor Lee, jo John Henry Hoffman as, as Doctor Lee, so he's a therapist guy. That he sees oh, everyone right, again. Yeah, yeah. You know the, the therapist who goes, "Ah, if you want me to put up your dosage," and he goes, "No, I don't want no more drugs." <laughs> and then he comes back anyway. And then he's just like, "Take these fucking pills. He's you need them. Take the take the pills, Neil Brain." And he's like, "No, I don't need the pills." <laughs> and you have Daniel uh, and. What the fuck? Daniel Ad and Raid mm -hmm. as Ali, so she's the daughter of Jim and Amy. Well, not Jim, I guess, because Jim's a stepdad or something. That was a, that was a weird Jim, subplot they didn't. Jim is her stepdad, yeah. And then the blonde the bl wife kills him and then just disappears from the Oh, uh, yeah, you know, both doctors are husband and wife. Gloria Hoffman yeah, is Doctor Andrew. Movie. See, the one good thing about this film, I'm not gonna lie, is the two. There's two doctors in the film, right? <laughs> And they're both husband and wife, and that's really the nice. One good thing about the film is the two therapists he sees every now and then. Yeah, because they're the only people who actually try and help him. <laughs> yeah. And they'll bring no, like his, his wife is. She, well, no, she no, she tells um, the therapist about the, him hacking into the government, <laughs> which made no sense at all. <laughs> Why would the therapist care? <laughs> I don't know. And then Neil Green finds out, and he gets very angry about it, and yeah. he's like, "I know it was you, but you're dead now, so it's fine." You killed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, oh my god, there's such a description for this film. Right, okay, so... See, this is what I mean. This is the best film, because there's so much you can talk about this one film alone. Mm. Right, so if you don't know what the storyline is, I'll, I'll, I'll read it off the IMDb. Yeah. A small boy discovers mystical power uh, as a kid, then is separated from his childhood girlfriend. Oh no. He grows up to be an acclaimed novelist. And also a computer scientist who hacks into the most secret national and international secrets. <laughs> if, yeah. if he didn't know. Um, his childhood discovery gives him an amazing paranormal... Gives him amazing paranormal powers. He's reunited with his childhood girlfriend mystically on his hospital deathbed. As his relationship with his current drug addict girlfriend is deteriorating. <laughs> All of this shit just gets pounded. It's so, this is literally the summary of the film. Yeah. And it's so weird. There's so much happening in it for yeah. no reason. As passions build among the threesome, mystical, psychiatric, fucking psychiatric, and worldly forces rise to prevent him from revealing the hacked secrets. <laughs> he attempts to reveal all in a large press conference in Washington, D.C. with a fateful, dangerous consequence. That's where the fateful findings come from. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, uh, we've got a lot of uh, bad, we've got uh, so suicide by gunshot, speech, suicide, barbecue, pill addiction. Barbecue. Got quite, quite a lot of good words for this film. Uh, bad acting. <laughs> <laughs> bad acting. Uh, hits by car. Because he gets hit by a car, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, uh, reference to Wall Street. Uh, therapist. Therapist. Uh, tied feet. What? When was that? <laughs> what? Tied feet? What does that mean? I don't know. I, I never saw any tied Maybe feet. Maybe when she got kidnapped. 
Oh yeah, maybe. But wouldn't they say tied hands more than feet? I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't really. It's got the most genres in this film I as well. Really concerned with their feet. You've got drama, fantasy, mystery, romance, sci-fi, and thriller, all in this one film. Such a weird. But okay, so um, right. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Although not acknowledged as such, this film is actually a remake of what? Double Down. Both feature Breen playing a super hacker, tackling national and international corruption, when does he or seize, pinning for lost love. When does he seize Las Vegas in the Well, no, Vegas. not Las Vegas. It's the fact that his character's a fucking hacker, isn't it? Yeah. And love and such. Uh, goofs. Certain characters routinely routinely reiterate their dialogue twice. That is true. They do, don't they? Yeah. Um, ah, oh, this is the best quote. Oh, I might as well... I'll try and find the video for it. Jim! Jim! Call 911! Jim! Jim! How could you have done this? Jim! I can't believe you committed suicide. I cannot believe you committed suicide. How could you have done this? How could you have committed suicide? I can't help you out of this one, Jim. With all we've been through, I can't pull you out of this one. That's the main character of his Fucking body. idiot. You committed suicide. Right, now this is kind of fucking stupid. So this is, uh, we were looking at the credits. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time, because obviously the first ever Neil Breen film I watched, bear in mind, was Fateful Findings. Uh -huh. Because um, Ollie, Ollie said at two o'clock in the morning, do you want to watch Fateful Findings? And I was like, what's that? He said, no, no, you got to watch it. And I was like, okay. Uh, yeah. I can't explain it to you. <laughs> you, can't, you can't explain a Neil Brain. I'm, I'm trying to right now, you just can't. Yeah. And he basically showed me this film, and I read the description and everything. I, it was the shit. I've never laughed so hard at a film, <laughs> honestly. It's like a student film, but imagine if that person, like, he's done several of these films, and they're all equally as poo. <laughs> yeah. But Faithful Findings, I think, is the best one, simply because of the fact that it's so random. Mm. Yeah, so at the end of the credits, we, uh, any it says, uh, any of the listed companies that with an N or B oh, yeah. are fictitious, right? Yeah, he's made up. So for some reason, Neil Breen could have just said he'd done everything himself, right? Yeah. But instead, he was he, he wanted to make his he film... He wanted to pretend. Like he wanted to pretend that his film had a lot more stuff. So, considering that the names with N or B in it are fictitious, right? He's got NNN Entertainment Partners, uh, Eats, N -E Eats, Film Incorporated, uh, BB Location Management, or BNB Effects Studio. These are some great. He put a lot of effort. <laughs> it's amazing. Mainly putting the N or the B in the middle of the <laughs> lighting N films. Mm -hmm. Lighting in films. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a review for it. Um, bring the booze. I mean, to be fair, you can't. Uh, to be fair, I would like to watch Neil Breen under the influence of uh, anything. alcohol. Just, anything. just yeah, anything. Because by that point, you're just like laughing at how fucking stupid it is anyway. Yeah. But because you're fucked anyway, it's fine. Enjoy in all right. seriousness, this movie is only enjoyable if you have a group of friends and a large amount of alcohol. <laughs> Um, from the low production value, uh, the plot that goes nowhere, and the performances that make the film that it is, it's basically filler. Yes, this movie has been memed, uh, the hell to, the, the to hell and back. I don't know why the, the guys, the hell and back. yeah, I don't know why, wow. right, but I enjoyed it for what it was. Can't say I would watch this film alone sober though, and that was made in 2014. Goddamn. So how many years ago was that? What, what about seven? What? No, eight? No, what the fuck about? Yeah. What a legend. Yeah, about eight, eight fucking years ago. What? By what name was Fateful Findings officially released in India? Oh my god. It was released in India? What was it? I don't know. That was a question that someone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Neil Breen, man. Find out. <laughs> find out? I'll yeah. go, right, I'll find out. Uh, top Gap. Answer. What's the answer? There's, there's no answer. Oh, I've got to answer it. Oh, <laughs> I don't fucking know. I didn't even know it was released in fucking India, let alone fucking anywhere else. Yeah, Faithful Findings was weird. Yeah, I might do a, a video on that, maybe. because be 
it's so it's just so it's such a strange fucking film uh, how did you find because obviously you looked at it first didn't you so what did you what did you find well i watched it like ages ago in school i watched a youtube video on it at my dad's and it was really funny so mm. i watched it my own and it was really funny so i just kind of went around my friends one by one showed you, it to them do you want to play the trailer yes i'll, I'll play it i guess I was given paranormal powers as a child. I've hacked into just about all the information I need. They have no idea. No more books! You were given a power. Others want to take this from me. He's writing about government secrets. I knew I loved you when I was eight years old. All this time, I haven't been working on my next book. I've hacked into the most secret government and corporate secrets. I'm using it to make a real difference. And I'm going to expose them all. Should I be afraid? Should we be afraid? I'm not ready for this. I want to be honest with all of you. I've been hacking into government and corporate systems all over the country. You're going to get yourself killed. But you should be scared because it is the truth. Act now on your own, outside of the corporate systems and these incompetent politicians. You want to get out of here, but you can't see what's about to happen. Our oh, fateful findings. Honest, this is one of the best fucking films. It is, man. Fateful. Man, it is, man. It's the best. Fateful ever. findings. I can't believe. I can't believe it. Right. No more books. Oh, yeah. He said in this. Yeah. In fucking Faithful Findings, he fucking um, throws a shit ton of books at laptops. He just because how many fucking things did he have about four laptops mm -hmm. and about three of them? He smashes on the floor and smashes things into. Yeah. He throws these really big like Bible books at them. And then he also chucks most of his stuff on the floor. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's so creepy. Oh, it's what? so weird, isn't it? Because he's trying to have sex with the women. And he's naked and stuff in it as well. Yeah. I don't know if he he's naked. Do that a lot, do I don't know if any in any of the other films he was naked or not. Mm -hmm. But for some reason he thought, nah, this is going to be my my film, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where he thought, yeah, no, nah, I'm going to like have this actor stand next to me in the shower whilst my penis is out. He just wanted to fuck him. Yeah. He's just an old creepy man. Oh no, that strange scene with that young girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that made no that, sense and was never followed Right, up so, right, for context, there was a scene where uh, Ali, so his best friend's, like, daughter, like, stepdaughter, right? For yeah. some reason, at su randomly, no context beforehand, just fucking walks into uh, Neil Breen's swimming pool. <laughs> yeah. And, and she looks at him like some sign, some sort of, like, uh, goddess, like that strange uh, floaty woman that Tony Soprano saw in his back garden that one oh, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it just kind of floated away and there wasn't actually a woman. It was like that, except it was a genuine young girl in the back of this fucking guy's swimming pool. Yep. And he's like, Ali, what are you doing here? And then Ali's just, and then the, the woman, the girl's just like, oh yeah, your wife's told me that I could come around any time. And Neil Breen's just saying, no, get out. <laughs> get, get out of here and all that stuff. But it's the fact that she's like basically got nothing on. She's literally she's literally just got a bra on and that's at one point she, she takes it, it she takes it off. Yeah, she does. And then she looks back at Neil Breen and Neil Breen's just like, what? Like what's going on? But it's the fact that you even like oh it's so oh you just think and all the other things as well, like he's in that fucking bin bin bag fucking dimension. Oh in the bin bag dimension. Where he's fucking naked in that yeah. every single time. 
And then there's multiple, there's like a multiple scene. Oh my god. There's a scene where he's with uh, Leah. So he's like uh, old girlfriend, child of the girlfriend thing. Mm. And um, there's a there's a bit where they're both cradling each other. And at the very end of the clip or whatever, Neil Breen looks up at the camera for some reason. And you could tell that like the cameraman behind it was just like, yeah, so when do you want me to cut? And then they'll bring just like when I look up. And you think for editing, edit it, oh, the edit, it's such a poopy film. It's funny because it's that bad. Mm-hmm. There's so much like weird stuff in it. The, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a, you know, you can watch it, but I mean, I wouldn't watch it all the time. <laughs> you can watch it if you hate yourself. Yeah, which we both do. Yeah. So we, we did. <laughs> um, yeah, Neil Breen. Spoke a lot about Neil Breen. Mm-hmm. What's your What's your summary of Neil Breen? If you If uh, what would you say to Neil Breen? If you ever met him? I don't know. Let's say, Let's say right. Yeah, I, I don't want to meet him because he's so godly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll just turn to dust or something. Yeah. You'll get snapped. He'll just disappoint me. He won't live up to what I, I would think he is. Right. Yeah. He's just a, a god at filmmaking. Yeah. Is he? Is he your hero? Yeah. Oh, I he's mean. He's what I want to be. Really? Yeah. You want to be like Neil Breen? 63 year old Neil Breen. Yeah, no. If I ever saw Neil Breen, I'd be like, oh my god, I love your films. Mm-hmm. And he'd be like, yeah, what do you like about them? And I said, and I'll say, like, the effort that you put into it. Mm-hmm. Because cause you I got mean, you try. You got to give credit to the <laughs> you man. You got to give credit that he tried. You got to, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. You got to give credit, even though they're absolute fucking dog shit and you can do so much better. You got to give credit to the man because he fucking did everything basically himself. Like, I'm sure there's probably people who could have helped him, but I think he knows there's probably people who can't or won't because they think Neil Breen's not as good Mm -hmm. because they haven't seen his full potential, you see. And I think think it's kind of sad because obviously, you know, he didn't, he didn't, like, he he wanted to be a filmmaker. He didn't go to film school or anything, so he's learning all this shit himself. But I still think he should have at least done something. (laughs) But the fact <laughs> he should have, he should have like he needs some kind of education. It's, yeah, but it's the, it's the fact that like he right first off he writes it. The dialogue in most of his films are really poor because what he does is right he speaks, pauses. <laughs> Do you want to reenact then speaks. what a Neil Breen scene is like? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll start us off. So who are you gonna be? I'm gonna be Neil Breen. You're gonna I be Neil Breen. Have to be Neil Breen. I'll right? be I'll be uh Jim. Okay, Jim, you can't do that. Dylan, you're my good friend. We've been friends for many years. Yeah, we have, Dylan, but you just got hit by a car. I love you, man. (laughs) (laughs) Do you want to do another scene? I've been hacking the government for ten years, and I finally got the secrets I need (laughs) (laughs) to expose them governments. I'm just going to pop into my garage and look at my Ferrari. I hope my wife doesn't kill me. <laughs> you better not kill yourself, Jim. You better come round. You know how much you be- I hate that. You, you, better, you better come round to my house and stand outside my door whilst I'm shouting, no, no, no. And also gunshot and not come in yeah. until after my wife has led. <laughs> Fled, I mean. Okay, Jim. I'll hold you to that. Ha 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 ha. Silly Jim. <laughs> and that's a scene from uh, one of Neil Breen's films. Oh my god. That's a scene from a Neil Breen. Oh my god, it's a Neil Breen oh scene. Oh my god, oh my god, it's a Neil Breen scene. We've done it. We've made something new. It's a Neil Breen scene. If you haven't seen Neil Breen, you, you, you see the, the Neil episode. Breen scene. Yeah, name the episode of the Neil Breen scene. Fucking hell. See, this shit writes itself. Mate, oh, mate. So, I mean, the reason, the reason why... Uh, I wanted to do this was to talk about Neil Breen, you know, a little uh, video thing. This guy is so con. This guy is just fucking content gold. Yeah. That's why is. I'm doing it. Yeah. So, I uh, yeah. I mean, if you if you want to watch fucking Neil Breen's shit, man, uh, all you have to do is I don't know, just I mean, search. That's, that's all I Where did do. you fucking find it? Uh, YMS. YMS. Uh, you're, it's a guy on YouTube called Your Movie No, sucks. not that, you fucking idiot. Like, where what? did you find it on the internet to watch? Oh, just one to three movies. Oh, just okay. Like any, any of them have it, usually. Yeah. Okay, so you heard, <clears throat> you heard the, the man. You can no. watch it anywhere, basically, on the internet, if you can find it. Um, yeah, again, I'd make sure you can actually view it first. Yes. Or it's... It, or I mean, these films aren't exactly HD quality. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, but they are good, I guess. Uh, insanely good at being bad, if you know what I mean. Is <laughs> they're, they're so good because he doesn't he doesn't know people find it funny. So he yeah. const- he constantly writes and produces these things that he believes are really good. So he keeps doing the things we find really funny. Rather than trying to constantly fix it. Yeah, but there must be some person who said, "Mate, your film's so shit, mate." Yeah, Honestly. but he just blocks it out. He just doesn't. He doesn't care. <laughs> he just keeps going. Me. He, he he genuinely believes that one day he will be like they. He, like, He'll be Dave. He'll be Dave. He'll be like Tarantino or Scorsese. Yeah. He'll be one of them. He just he believes people just don't understand his vision, so he just keeps keeps going. He's such a legendary man. He needs man. to hack the government at least three more times to get it right. Exactly, yeah. He just needs to keep on hacking he the government. He needs to seize Las Vegas. <laughs> so, that was uh, Neil Breen. The Neil Breen scene. We finally made your uh, Neil Breen episode. Yeah, I finally made my Neil Breen episode that, um, been that I've been wanting to do for a while. <laughs> well, no, not a while. Like a week. Yeah, like a week. Yeah. So, you know. And we've got some other stuff as well. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't die. Don't die. Like, like the video. So yeah, new videos. Uh, me doing this sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah. So thank you very much. What do you say, Ollie? Fuck you. He says fuck you. I hope you die. And I fuck day. you. I fuck you too. <laughs> All right, bye. Pump up the football. Pump up the football. Hey, check this out. Sorry, mate. Don't take checks. Ah, just loads of money. Sing a song of six, but a